Sharks. Shark. The word makes people scared. But is the shark really so dangerous? What do we know about this creature? We know the shark is a meat-eating fish. It eats live or dead sea animals and almost anything else. Some strange things have been found in the stomach of sharks. Everything from old junk to giant sea turtles. The shark is one of the world's best swimmers. Its sleek body moves swiftly through the sea. Some sharks can swim over 40 miles an hour. Their strong tails give them power. Their side and pectoral fins give them balance. Most sharks have two back or dorsal fins. The larger one is nearer the head. It's shaped like a triangle. A shark does not see as well as it hears or smells, but in clear water, it can see something moving from 50 feet away. Like other fish, the shark can feel something moving without seeing it. But they have a keen sense of smell and they hear well. These senses plus their swimming speed make them very good hunters. Jaws! The shark has huge jaws and sharp teeth. Shark teeth grow in several rows and the shark doesn't have to worry about losing a tooth because another one just moves up and takes its place. The shark is a fish, but it's different from most fish in many ways. The shark has rough skin, but its skin is covered in tough scales that look like very tiny teeth. Shark skin feels like sandpaper. The eggs of most sharks hatch inside the mother's body. Baby sharks are called pups. They are born alive. The pups must take care of themselves right away though. The parents don't take care of them at all. The shark does not have any bones. Its skeleton is made of cartilage, which is tough and elastic. Most fish have a swim bladder that keeps them from sinking, but a shark does not have a swim bladder. So most sharks have to keep swimming all the time. If they don't move, they begin to sink. And like other fish, a shark breathes through its gills. The gills of the shark are slits on each side of its head. Sharks are found all over the world, in cold water, in warm water, in deep water, and shallow water. Some fish live in fresh water and some sharks weigh tons. Some are less than a foot long. There are different kinds of sharks. The basking shark is the second largest kind of shark. It can grow to about 30 feet. It gets its name because it basks in the sun. It warms itself by floating near the surface of the water. The blue shark gets its name from the color of its skin. The bull shark often lives in fresh water. The hammerhead shark is found in all oceans. It is the strangest looking member of the shark family. It has a flat head that looks like a hammer with an eye and a nostril at each end. The mako shark is fast and powerful. It lives in warm tropical waters and it can even jump high out of the water. This slow moving shark, the nurse shark, is yellow brown or gray brown in color. This shark can pump water over its gills, so it does not have to swim all the time. Sometimes the nurse shark just lies quietly on the bottom of the ocean. It is very fond of crabs and lobsters. The thresher shark grows to 20 feet long but half of its body is its tail. This subtropical shark swims near the surface. The largest fish in the world is the whale shark. It can grow to 49 feet long and weigh more than an elephant. To learn about sharks, scientists must get close to them. First, they have to find the sharks. They throw chum into the water Chum is pieces of chopped fish and fish oil. Scientists believe that a shark can smell this from far away. Then the scientists wait. Off in the distance, a huge pointed fin cuts through the water. It is the killer of the sea, the great white shark. Slowly, slowly it circles the boat. More chum is thrown into the water and like a streak, the shark jumps to the surface and snaps up 25 pounds of meat 
in one big gulp. Sometimes divers go below the surface. The diver will study the shark and take pictures. The diver is lowered in a metal cage into the water. Here comes the shark. The white shark has seen the diver in the cage. The shark glides slowly by the metal cage. The diver watches up close and takes pictures. The shark keeps circling slowly around and around. And then, just as suddenly, the huge shark is gone, disappearing into the white churning water. The end.